Hello and welcome in. Today I'll be discussing on how to connect a GoPro into the Moblin app. Ever since the 20th of March 2025, Moblin version 0.397, the GoPro launch has been added as a feature. Okay, before getting started, make sure GoPro Labs is installed on your GoPro. Here I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max, here I have a GoPro, and here I have a Netgear Nighthawk M1. Alright, the first thing you will need to do is to create an RTMP server specific to use for the GoPro. So we're going to the cog wheel, scroll down to RTMP server, make sure it's disabled. We will now create one, we give it a name, we shall call it RTMP GoPro. Done. And for the stream key, we'll leave it as is. We can also change the latency down to 250. We'll go back out and enable that. We will now go into the GoPro menu within the Moblin app in order to set up the GoPro. Click on the cog wheel, scroll down to the GoPro menu. Here, the first thing we need to set is whether or not we want it to be a 1080p or 720p. I'm just gonna leave it at 1080p. Now we will need to manually add the SSID from the Netgear Nighthawk M1 into the system. So we scroll down and we under Wi-Fi credentials, we'll create. Within my SSID, tap. We will now change the naming to GoPro and now I shall add which connection I'll be using. In this case, the M1. Back out. SSID, so here we need to make sure we select the 5G band. Yep. Now we'll add the password. Now that we've added the Wi-Fi credentials, a QR code is generated based on this. Okay, next is to create an RTMP URL. So we scroll down to RTMP URLs. We'll create within my URL. We'll now change the name to here. We will select server, the stream itself. We will select the newly created RTMP server from previously is RTMP GoPro. We will now make sure we select the correct address. Now, depending on how you connect your system, whether or not you have set your hotspot on your phone to be the connection, then you will need to select the correct address. In this case, we are using an external Wi-Fi hotspot. So I will select the top address. And now, the RTMP server's QR code is now created based on that settings here. Now we will create a scene within the mobile and app in order to show the GoPro stream. So go into the cog wheel, we go into scenes, we will now create a new scene and we will call this GoPro. Now we will select the video source to be the RTMP GoPro server that we've created previously. Done, okay. And that is it. All right, now it is time to connect the GoPro to the Moblin app. So we will need to go into the GoPro menu systems again, but this time around we will now get all the QR codes ready. So the first thing we want to do is to open up the Wi-Fi credentials QR code. We will now scan the QR code for the Wi-Fi credentials, selecting your correct one, hover, triple click to approve the Wi-Fi settings for your GoPro. We will now scan the QR code for the RTMP URL. So we scroll down, Selecting the correct one, scroll down again, hover, 
tick. Now we will start the live stream of the GoPro. We will select 1080p and now we will scan the QR code. And now the GoPro is starting the process of streaming an RTMP stream to the Moblin app. And we have live on the back of the GoPro. And now we should see a stream on the Moblin app. Now that the GoPro is sending its RTMP stream to the Moblin app, we can now push this stream to Bellabox Cloud. Okay, this is now the camera angle from the GoPro pushing an RTMP stream into the Moblin app. And the Moblin app is then pushing its stream to Bellabox Cloud. As you can see, completely wireless, we have an iPhone 11, we have a Netgear Nighthawk M1, and we have the GoPro Hero 10.